play GTA 4 you will need a couple of mods and Vorp X. I currently don't know any other way to experience Grand Theft Auto 4 in VR. So if you don't have Vorp X then I prefer to make you aware of this at the start of the video. I will show you two ways to install the mods on your Grand Theft Auto 4 installation in case the first one isn't working for you. The most chances to get this to work on your Grand Theft Auto 4 installation is when you do it on an official version of the game from CD-ROM or Steam. It's also very important that you make a backup folder of the installation folder of Grand Theft Auto 4 and also of your save games. I'm saying this mostly in case you are required to do the second way that I'll show you in the video later. Step 1. Go to the description of the video and look for the link that will bring you to script hook 4. If you have version 1070, then you should take the version from the link for that version. Now open the page and download script hook 4. Open a RAR file containing script hook 4, go to the installation folder of your Grand Theft Auto 4 and slide all files from script hook RAR file into the main folder of the installation folder of Grand Theft Auto 4. Step 2. Go back to the description of the video and find the link that will take you to the download of ASI Loader. Download ASI Loader. Open the RAR file and slide the file dsound.dll into the main folder of the installation folder of Grand Theft Auto 4. Step 3. Go back to the description of the video and find the link that will take you to the download for the first person mod. This first person mod is not made for virtual reality, but surprisingly it works pretty stable in virtual reality. Now download the first person mod, open the RAR file and slide the files into the main folder of the installation folder of Grand Theft Auto 4. Now right click on the file firstperson.ini. Open it as a text file or open it in notepad. Now change the field of view of forward field of view to 90 or higher. Now change the field of view as well for rear field of view. Put it a little higher than the one before. Also change the value of the blur effect into a very low value. And save the file. Step 4. In order to get the first person mod working properly, you will also have to install System Time Sync mod. Go back to the description of the video and find the link that will bring you to the download for System Time Sync mod. Download the mod, open the RAR file and slide all the files into your main folder of the installation folder of Grand Theft Auto 4. Step 5. Now start your game and try out the first person mod to see if it works for you. Once the game has loaded your save file, press the button to change the camera view in game until you see in first person. If your camera view takes you back to the first view without having a first person view, then it is not working for you. In case this isn't working for you, then delete the script hook 4 files and try the other script hook 4 version that you can find in the description of the video. If the first person mod still on, isn't out. working for you, or if your game isn't starting at all, then hang on for a moment until I explain the second way to install the first person mod on your GTA 4. In case you did have first person view, then you are ready to check it out in VR. Now close the game and open Vorp X and download my or any other Grand Theft Auto 4 profile and launch the game. Depending on the version of Grand Theft Auto 4 that you have installed, it might be possible that it won't start from the first time. In case this happens, you should go to the general settings of Vorp X and enable the option Run Vorp X Control as Administrator. But after you've finished with playing Grand Theft Auto 4 in VR, you better disable that option again for better performance in games where it isn't required to enable that option. Go back to the main folder of the installation folder of your Grand Theft Auto 4 installation and create a new text file and name it command line. Open it and add the following lines in it. You can also experiment with the resolution values in order to get a better view. Now start the game, go to options and graphics. Now you can see the settings that I'm using but I advise you to lower them a little bit 
so you have a better performance when you start in VR. You can change them to higher settings later, if you think your computer can handle it. If your game did launch, then press delete to open the in VR view options menu of Forb X and adjust the settings to your personal comfort. I tried my best to get the best view in VR in this game, but if you can make it better, then it would be nice if you would import it in Vorp X Profiles Cloud. I will now explain the second way to install mods in Grand Theft Auto 4 if this first way wasn't working for you. This way will only work for Steam users. This way will lower the version of your game and will also reduce the number of moving vehicles and pedestrians. It will also lower the graphics quality, so I advise you to look for any quality graphics mod for Grand Theft Auto 4 if you aren't happy with this quality. Remember at the start of the video when I told you to make a backup of the installation folder? Well now is the last chance to do it in case you haven't done it yet. Step 1. You install the game and install the game again or use the backup folder. Be sure you also keep the backup folder as a spare folder so you always have a backup of the original files. Step 2. Go to the description of the video and find the link that will take you to the GTA 4 downgrader. Download the English patch which is for version 1.0.7.0, extract the folder from the RAR file somewhere you choose, then open the update title.x. The setup will automatically adjust your installation of GTA 4. When the installation is complete, then start the game. A social club launcher will open but just click on play offline and then confirm. Step 3. Go to the options in game and go to graphics. Because of downgrading your game, you won't be able to adjust any options here. Do not change any options because you won't be able to set it higher again. Now go down to the automatic option, choose that and once that is done, close the game. Go back to the main folder of the installation folder of your Grand Theft Auto 4 installation and create a new text file and name it command line. Open it and add one of the following lines in it. You can also experiment with the resolution values in order to get a better view. Step 4. Repeat step 1 step 2, step 3 and step 4 from the first way earlier in the video. Step 5. Now start your game and try out the first person mod to see if it works for you. Once the game has loaded your save file, press the button to change the camera view in game until you see in first person. In case you still don't have first person view, then I'm not sure if I can help you other than with the steps I explained in this video. Last option is to try everything again with another clean installation of the game. Or to try with a different version of the game. Make sure you start the game one time before downgrading after the installation has completed. Step 6 Repeat step 6 from the first way that I explained earlier in the video in order to play in virtual reality. I hope that this video helped you guys in order to install mods or to play in first person or to play in virtual reality. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of gameplay to show you how it is to play in first person and in virtual reality. Fuck, sorry. Yes, please, one of them. Gracias, enjoy this item. Thank you very much. Bite this plump meat for juicy explosion. One of the few pleasures that why you what? Gospody! in this fucking city. 
Yes, the bird.
Quick, out, lady! Let me kill you. 